let's take a new exercise in solid autodesk inventor this is exercise number 30 all dimensions are in millimeter the same exercise we did with fusion 360 so let's do the same with autodesk inventor now here also i am going to start with base and the base size is 145 and you will see inside view 90 millimeter and uh, height of the base 20 millimeter and there is a corner radius r20 into 4 times okay then here we have two circles 18 dia and center distance 50 it means this is located with uh, this one so let's make this first let's say new now here go to metric standard millimeter dot ipt create okay now let's i'm going to click here create 2d sketch now see first you have to choose any plane so let's say xz plane click and see we entered in sketch mode now let's activate here center rectangle not center rectangle this is two point center rectangle now start with origin point just move cursor over and see the yellow point become green it means we are at zero zero click and drag now let's this one is uh, okay this is going to be something like uh, fine 90 tab 145 enter just right click finish sketch home and here activate extrude feature now profile selected sketch we don't need to select behavior we have to choose any one direction so one direction already selected now the distance a means thickness so 20 millimeter c output this is the body name you can change anything say okay now click on the edge and you will see these options fill, create fillet and create chamfer i am going to choose create fillet even though you can choose it from here now you can directly choose all the four edges even hidden edges you can choose now let's make this uh, 18 millimeter okay now there is a hole option activate hole now first here see this is activated allow center point create is on creation is on so make sure this is on now hole type let's say the hole is simple hole seat uh, no uh, none defined because there is counter bore spot face and this all we don't need behavior transmission we have to choose either uh, through all either distance if you choose distance you can apply distance i am going to choose through all direction now this is the whole direction 18 okay we forget this uh, corner radius uh, actually 20 now let's move cursor and place here now before going to choose anything just click this edge and see this is uh, cornered and centered with this edge now again you can place somewhere here and select this edge see this is fixed with this say ok edit feature this is 20 ok that's fine now let's make this circular body you see radius 34 diameter become 68 and uh, from here to here 85 so if you subtract 145 60 millimeter from this side let's do this and we need to extrude up to 60 millimeter see here then we have to cut this 15 millimeter 30 millimeter is the cutout so let's do and and there is one rib also you will see diameter 12 select this face create a sketch now i'm going to select circle and let's draw one circles 34 into twos right click ok now choose line and draw one line make sure this is going to be horizontal 
okay now here let's say vertical select this line and make sure this okay this is already vertical okay now again tangent select this line and make this one tangent a smart dimension now this is going to lies at center so 90 divided by 2 45 now let's define distance from here to here 145 minus 85 it's going to be 60 even if you want to trim this trim option move cursor over and click and this is trimmed okay now simply go to extrude and see by default profile selected here plane also selected direction also selected and depth 60 and the output boolean going to be join because we are going to create another solid body the first one we don't need to join this uh, new body but second one we are going to join with first one okay now let's create one offset plane select this one and minus 15 in downward side okay now select the plane create a sketch now I'm going to choose project geometry and let's create this right click okay now here one option called see we already created this line simply activate line okay A smart dimension now these line distance 20 millimeter now this is fully constrained drawing you will see at right bottom finish sketch and here I am going to choose extrude now profile you have to choose clear now select now only one side selected after this lines you will see and here before going to apply anything just go to boolean and choose cut look how this is going to cut but depth only 30 millimeter now check again see okay rest everything same now right click and uncheck visibility of the plane so that we can hide it now we have to create let's check mid plane okay mid plane already there x y z plane this is already at center A sketch line draw a line right click okay activate here one constraint coincident select this point and this point similarly let's draw and see this is black means fully defined finish now choose the profile uncheck this see here we selected parallel to plane now to next okay this is the uh, material flow both side 12 millimeter okay just check this upper part radius 40 the, this one is same radius height 40 millimeter again and there is center hole 20 diameter now let's make plane first so offs offset plane 40 
okay now i'm going to make first this one create 68 enter choose here co-centric relation or constraint select this one and this arc perfectly placed finish sketch now let's select this plane create a sketch circle and place at center and let's make 40 this is not fully defined co-centric this one and this one finish even we don't need this one anyhow we can uh, perform loofed feature now in loofed curves condition transition we don't need these two we are this is simple so go to curve here select join and click here to add select sketch one two see we don't need this guide rail because this is a simple one and here output either uh, surface or solid we keep solid we don't need this anything if you uncheck you can't see the preview so just always make sure now right click uncheck visibility okay this is on position simple hole no seat throughout tra termination keep throughout and here the hole diameter 20 just keep cursor over and sel select outer edge and now this is going to locate at center okay material even you can select it from here A steel if you want to change some uh, plating for this semi polished steel polished steel If you want to change some other color, don't forget to share, like our video, and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks and Autodesk Inventor. Thanks for watching.